Hi, welcome. It is a great pleasure to be here with you all today. And if you would like to learn more about how your company can be more sustainable, get more business control, and get your brand stronger, yes, then you need to make sure that you follow this presentation. Some years ago, the former CEO of Lere called Maritech and said, you have to join us in a very innovative project. We do not know how to solve it and do not know quite what it is, but we know that it can be revolutionary for the industry. In Maritech, we have a culture of saying yes and believing is solving complex issues as well as cooperating with our customers. So Klaus, what happened? Yes, so here the journey starts with our partners Nofima and Neo. They had worked for several years, researched how hyperspectral imaging could be used to measure quality parameters in the fish. In 2016, the technology was ready to be tested for industrial use. And Maritech became the chosen commercial partner who could lift this technology out of the laboratory and into the seafood industry. And Maritech have together with customers designed, built and tested the solution from prototype to commercial product and in close cooperation with Leroy and Movi, we have arrived at the current product, Maritech Eye. So why do you think Maritech was chosen as the commercial partner? Maritech is the leading seafood software provider in the world. We have a large customer base from a global perspective and decades of competence in the seafood industry. Our solutions enables better and more data-driven decisions. Now, Per Alfred, let us take a closer look at Maritech AI on what it actually is and how it can strengthen your brand, sustainability and business control. Yes, let's do that. So how are actually things going, Per Alfred, uh, with uh, Maritech AI since the launch one year ago? Well, it has been an amazing journey. We have moved this technology from opportunity to an industrial reality in several projects. Mm -hmm. And for example, in Portugal and Scotland. And now we are ready for more. So here it is. Yes. How does it work? Well, I guess you have been fishing sometimes. Mm -hmm. And when you're out fishing, you're using uh, echo sonar to detect where the fish is mm -hmm. and also how deep it is in the sea. The sonar is using sound, but here we are using light. Mm. We put light down in the fish fillet, mm. and then we register the chemical indication and parameters coming back from the light through the fish flesh. And detecting that with a very advanced hyperspectral camera mm. in the back. So, why does the industry need it? Well, you know, Klaus, in the whitefish industry, the fish is changing ownership a lot of time through the value change. With automated and objective quality ass assessment, Maratech AI can be a very powerful tool both for the buyers and the sellers in the industry. Secondly, we know there is and there will be a lot of natural variation in the wild catched fish. And the everyday challenge for the industry is to try to use the right fish for the right purpose, the right market and the right client. And Maratech AI can really help our clients do this. You have talked a lot about the white fish now, yes. but uh, what about the red fish? The red fish farming and industry seems to have somewhat other challenges. Mm. There are lower natural variation because it's more controlled, mm. both the farming and also the slaughtering process. However, we, s we have seen that the fillets is also subject to natural variation in different parameters. Mm -hmm. We do see that we have several blood and melanin spots. Mm -hmm. 
There are issues with variation in both color and also fat percentage. So what if we can only spend time on correcting the fillets that needs attention? What if we can entirely automate the job of inline inspection? Mm -hmm. And what does it mean for our farming and feeding operations mm. to have a large scale information about all of the output from a batch? Since our amazing journey started, Per Alfred, uh, can you say something about our experience on the customers and projects that we already have started? Yes. Our experience so far is that each customer has different focus and also different business cases they want to solve with this technology. Each client also needs to define what threshold and also what focus they want to use it for in their production, because each client is quite unique. Mm. We have gained a lot of valuable experience in tuning Maratec AI to fit each client's needs and how they can use it for their most valuable problem and opportunities. Mm. We know that there are a lot of different companies in the seafood industry. What kind of uh, company is this product for? Well, you know, to be able to invest in technology, operation of a certain scale is always an advantage. Second of all, vertically integrated companies, we believe that they will benefit faster from the data value they will get from this system. That said, we believe that the first companies that take this into use will also learn faster and gain real competitive edge. How can we uh, integrate Maratec AI in the production plant? As you can see, Maratec AI is quite neat and easy to place in different setups in your production. You don't need any equipment uh, other than a conveyor belt place to place it on. And you will typically find it before graders or other sorting equipment where the fish stream is singular. As a software company, Maratec has a lot of competence in integrating data both from the production system and also learned how to communicate with different hardware in the factories. So we have spent a lot of time in the R&D phase to actually solve different issues that might arise during to integrate to different equipment. So we know that uh, Maratec AI applies to red and white fish. Uh, but are there any future plans uh, for other kind of species with Maratec AI? I can say that our main focus today will be to commercialize and scale on the opportunities with red and white fish. But we also know that this equipment are already in several R&D initiatives regarding, for example, mushy halibut, and there are also initiatives on shellfish. So we expect that in the future, there might be a wider use of this equipment. So, if you're curious to know more about Maratec AI, who should you contact, Klaus? You should contact Christian, who is responsible for Maratec sales in North America. And you should con contact, if you're from Iceland, uh, Konrad Olofsson, who is responsible for the Icelandic market. So with that said, I think uh, me and Per Alfred are happy about uh, this session and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.